I have to ask you, everyone's, everyone's buzzing about Teen Wolf, and everyone loves you so much, and then you weren't going to be in this, now there's all this buzz at a Comic-Con that you might be, and there's all these rumors online. Can you kind of set the record straight as to where you're at with the whole Teen Wolf movie and world, and would you ever think of doing more with that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm not in it. Uh, it's, it's, uh, my car is, I like gave them, it's like come and pick up the car for my drive, um, to use it, which everyone thinks is really funny, which, cause it is really funny. Uh, you know, so, um, yeah, I lent them my Jeep <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, as far as the future goes, I mean, like I, you know, I think, I don't know what's the, what the plan is beyond this movie or anything, but I, I know I'm not a part of this one. And, uh and i'm not sure that i'll be a part of anything going forward but i'm also I, but i also just like i don't rule anything out until i you know until the i'm faced with the decision hey get picks i'm gonna get lots of picks yeah i'll throw them all up on the gram right dylan congrats on this thank you how, how much fun first of all just reteaming with zoe and to have that kind of chemistry already i'll just talk she was telling me just how much fun you guys have day to day yeah so much fun um you know, it's because we we had fun on the first movie that we did, but we really only had like uh, mainly like a, like one kind of scene together, you know. So it was like pretty brief, and we had so much fun. But it was also like a much different type of film, you know. Uh, so this was just so great. It was so it, it. I think it really helped to like go into something like this, which was, you know, like more so much more kind of lended itself to like improving and like being comfortable in, you know. To sort of do that, you'd need to be like comfortable with each other, and um, so it was great to sort of ha have that like secondhand as not just coworkers, but like you know friends at that point to just come in and just be trying to like make each other laugh, you know, which is really fun. Yo, Colin, I love your videos, man. Thanks, B. Sure, and just, and just the fun of inhabiting this guy and his look day to day, and how that affected you maybe off camera to have the hair and have the the tattoo. Yeah. What was that like living with him for some weeks? I was a savage. I was an absolute menace to society. I was like, I'm blonde and I'm loving every minute of it. No, it was, I, you know, <laughs> it was actually kind of true to a little bit, to to some degree. I had fun having like a new hair color, but I think it was just because it was like, I had never had that before. So I, you know, it's like getting new clothes or something. Like you feel like, you know, you're like, ooh, I'm gonna take myself out. Right. Anyone particular you based them on or were it, was it a combination of no. people or did you? Yeah, you know I mean, it's just, stuff? Yeah, it was sort of just a uh, a combination of like the, you know, quintessential, we, we tried to just make like the quintessential like boy uh, with like a combination of a lot of different, you know, qualities or, or, or aesthetic like things that we see that are really common, you know, like just like the tats, and, like stupid tats and like different colored hair, you know, and um, the, weed, the, 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 the weed on the neck under the ear, just like, a, like so far the rings, the chains, the, you know, uh, baggy clothes. I don't know. I don't really know. It was just sort of a compilation. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Ha. This movie's so well done. It, it isn't afraid to go dark and to get uncomfortable. Just talk about that side of it and how important that is for audiences to kind of make them feel a little bit on edge and what they what you hope they're left with after seeing this movie. Yeah. Well, that's uh, yeah. That's one of the things that's most exciting. Like I'm. I think we're all really curious to just see, um, you know, what people's take ways are when they see this what the conversations will be like there's definitely not it doesn't assert an opinion necessarily so it's totally open to interpretation and i think people are going to take it a lot of different ways and i also think people are going to be really surprised uh when they see it i don't think that the what you know what the movie is i don't think has totally been put out there necessarily i feel like everything that's been put out there about the movies um not like meeting, but I just, it's like the crux of like what the movie is. I think it's cool, to, uh, that'll be like a cool surprise. Talk about uh, Stranger Things and Sadie Sink. Everyone loved your film. Have you stayed in touch with her? Were you watching Stranger Things? Well, how much did you love, like everyone in the whole world's been talking about that this summer, of course. Oh, me and Sadie? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I love Sadie. Um, she's incredible and, uh, uh, and like, one of the most like sneak attack talented I've ever seen. Like you, she's just like, she's just like the, you know, uh, she's very quiet and like, she's really, um, just really chill and sort of like uh, unbothered and like not totally phased. And 
um, just kind of like chill and doing her own thing. And then she like explodes, you know, this talent on screen. I was like blown away working with her. Um, and she's like the coolest person too. She's like so nice. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.